Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a little bit of a different setup today and it's going to be four ways to style the faux leather or vegan leather trench coat. You will know that there's a lot of these on the high street already. You might have seen the Top Chop one. Um, I'll leave a picture on the screen. That's more like a PVC style. Um, Nasty Gal do a faux leather one. So do a few other places. This one is from Warehouse. It is actually last season, so it was in the sale, but I think they brought out a similar PVC version, which again, I'll leave on the screen. And I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I didn't think that I would be, but I am. So I thought I would do a styling video on it. Obviously you can use this for any type of trench coat. It doesn't have to be a faux leather one or a leather one, but I just thought I would share this one because I'm a little bit obsessed. So I have my outfits here that I've put together. I've already filmed them. So again, like my last few couple of videos, I will have a styling session at the end of the video. So I will leave the time on the screen. But actually when I talk you through these outfits, I'm also going to play like a little bit of the video or maybe a photo of me wearing it on this side as well which is why I'm a little bit further away today for you guys so I'm gonna kick off with outfit number one this is like a more day-to-day -day look so this is something I would wear any day of the week um still smart enough for me to wear to the office because I can wear what I like um but I just love this colour combination together so for my base I have this top which is from All Saints so Go for a neutral top, could be a white t-shirt, could be anything, but I've picked this neutral All Saints knit that I picked up uh, for discount at MacArthur Glen, uh, Cheshire X, so I will leave anything similar links below. And then also, keeping in with the neutrals and a trend I'm equally obsessed with, it is pearl clips. So I picked myself up a pearl clip. This is from Yes Style, but I'll leave a few links below. And I think it's just a really cute way to update a look with some hair accessories. And then, of course, beloved blue wash jeans. These are a Calvin Klein pair that, again, I picked up on a recent trip to Cheshire Oaks. So they were super cheap. I think they were £30 instead of £110, which is amazing. But I love the step hem detail on these. So I will leave any similar jean styles linked in the description box below. Um, I really like the combination of those two tones together. I think it works really well, especially with the tan leather. It just sets it off. So absolutely love that look and then to bring it all in together I have the only tan bag that I actually own so I have realized I need new tan bags because I'm absolutely loving neutrals and this is from Charles and Keith it's a pocket bag not sure if it's still available because I did get this one last year but I love all their bags this is faux leather as well but it's really beautifully made uh, it looks really expensive the two tones work quite well together so I shall leave Charles and Keith linked in the description box below and hopefully that style is still available. For shoes I thought the look worked really well with some snake print but of course you could go for any like brown neutral coloured boots. These are from Official Find. I'm not sure whether they're still available on Amazon um, because I've had them for a good half a year but I will leave obviously similar styles link below because there's lots available places like Ego, Topshop and things like that. Uh, they're really comfortable heel as well for walking around in the day and they're a western boot so I just loved them with that look. So that is look number one. For my second look I wanted to pull something that was all black together because I think that neutrals like a tan colour or a beige looks really well with all black. So for the base we've gone for my ever faithful next 360 skinny jeans. If you're after a pair of skinny jeans, I absolutely love these. They're really comfortable because they move with your body, but they don't go saggy in the knees. They're really figure flattering. And also I've worn these so many times and washed them and they're still mega black. So I want to get another pair of them. So I've used them for my base. And then on top, I have gone for a black shirt. This is one of my silk shirts from my Lily Silk Styling Shirts silk shirts video, bit of a mouthful. I will leave that linked as well for you guys. And when I wear a shirt, I like to size up by one size and I also like to tuck one side in. I don't know, I just love doing that. James absolutely hates it. But that's what I've done with this look. And I've just realized I actually have makeup or something all over the front of it. So hopefully that's not showing up on camera. <laughs> I also popped on the Velvet Topshop headband I have on at the moment. Again, I think that sold out pretty quickly, but I will leave any similar versions linked to you guys in the description box below for anything that isn't available. Also, my cute mango bag that you will have seen loads of already. I picked this up in sale. Um, yeah, it's pretty much featured in all my styling videos since I bought it. So, And then on my feet, I have a rather fabulous pair of boots. I don't think I've shared with you guys yet. And it is, 
I'm actually, oh my god, again, and the pair, pair of boots I absolutely love. I think I'm going to wear these in Manchester tomorrow, and it is another kind of pair of western boot, but these are more, I would say, of an, not necessarily evening, but they're a bit more sophisticated and sassy. They're a bit more dressy, aren't they? And these are real suede, so the suede works really well with the silk. We've got the kind of western cut out detail and pattern on them if you can see. They've got a cone heel and they are slightly higher than an ankle boot so they're more like a lower calf boot. But I just think they're really flattering with skinny jeans in them. They make your legs look really long, make your legs look a little bit slimmer as well so absolutely love them and they're a little bit like the Isabel Morant boots that I always wanted. So those are from Coat Gaga at Shoaholic. So that was my second look. And then for my third look, I'm obviously loving like full on tones, but another colour that I think works really well with tan and neutrals is navy. So I've gone for an all navy look and it's a knitwear look. So I also like how knitwear contrasts with the faux leather. So I have this Meraki cardigan, which is one of the brands stocked at Amazon Fashion. I've just gone for a lovely navy colour. Again, with my cardigans, I like to have a little bit tucked in, a little bit hanging out. It's obviously a little thing that I have. And then to pair with that, I have a rib knit skirt, which is also from Meraki. And what I can say about this range is that the clothes are so soft. Actually feels like you're walking around in your pajamas, which I absolutely love a comfortable outfit. So I've paired with this gorgeous, I'd say it's more of a maxi tube skirt, but it has a nice little slit in the side of the leg. And ooh, I love that pairing together. So I've gone navy on navy, which, I think works really well with the tan. Uh, for shoes, I would also wear this with trainers for like a comfy day look, but I've gone for some sandals because I'm loving midi maxi skirts with strappy sandals, which you might have seen already on the high street. Sappy, sa uh, sappy, sappy sandals. So strappy sandals are going to be another big trend for spring, summer. So I'll leave some of my favourites below. I managed to get my hand on the Topshop pair. These did go out of stock and then they came back in stock. Uh, beautiful, all black, square toed, strappy heels. That seems to be kind of like the trend. Mini stiletto ish heel, square toe at the front, and beautiful strap. So I styled these, which I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot of spring, summer. I should probably have bought two pairs because I'm sure I'll probably wear them out quickly. And then I just finished that look off with my YSL bag, tying in the black from the shoes, just with a black bag. Because I don't have a navy bag. If I had a navy or tan bag, that would also work really well. Maybe a backpack if you're wearing it with trainers, but that is the bag that I went for. And then, as a final look, which might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I actually really like it, although people might mistake you for a flasher, is literally just wearing your trench coat tied at the waist so it cinches you in as an actual dress. So wearing it as a statement piece on its own, I would always kind of ruche the sleeves up because I think that obviously just looks... I don't know, it's just a vibe, isn't it? So this basically paired again with the headband, with the strappy sandals, and then I've gone for an evening bag to give it a little bit more of like a, like it's an evening dress look type thing. Or maybe you could be hiding a really tiny mini dress under there, and maybe people would never know. But yeah, that is the final look, which I wasn't actually gonna do as a look, but when I was trying the things on, I was like, this actually looks pretty cool on its own, which is how I'm wearing it right now. So that has been my four ways of styling, well, three plus a flasher look, <laughs> the leather trench for a leather trench, the vegan leather trench. So I will play the styling bit for you properly now, which is also over on my IGTV channel. So if you don't follow me over on Instagram, please go and check me out. It's where you will find most of my outfits and yeah, where I update most regularly and I'm absolutely loving that platform at the moment, but onto the styling.
I would love to know which of these looks has been your favourite so do let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking my next video will be styling the faux leather boiler suit which you might have seen in my nasty gal haul or you may have not so I'll leave it linked uh, but yeah let me know if there's any more that you would like to see from me. Do subscribe if you're new, thank you for joining and I will see you in a video next Friday. Bye guys. <laughs>